Tamil Nadu MLA J. Anbaragan, who had tested positive for coronavirus, died in a Chennai hospital this morning. 61-year-old Anbaragan was admitted to hospital on June 2nd over severe acute respiratory distress and had tested positive for COVID-19 at the time. The DMK MLA was put on ventilator support on June 3rd. His condition was described as critical by Rela Hospital. Anbaragan is the first big political leader to die of coronavirus in Tamil Nadu. India's coronavirus tally soared to 2,76,583 this morning with 9,985 new patients recorded in the last 24 hours as the number of those who have recovered overtook the active COVID-19 cases in the country for the first time. A total of 1,35,206 patients have recovered so far. Nearly 1.33 lakhs are still taking treatment. 7,745 patients have died so far and 260 79 died in the last 24 hours. Indian and Chinese troops have gradually started moving back from standoff positions at different points in the Galwan and Hot Spring areas of Ladakh. This could be the first signs of de-escalation of tensions along the line of actual control. However, there has been no official statement yet on whether a disengagement is underway. Government sources were quoted saying that they will be monitoring the movements closely in the next few days. A probe set up into the death of a pregnant woman who was allegedly denied admission to eight hospitals and died in an ambulance in Noida said that private hospitals made excuses not to admit her. Fixing accountability on the Sector 30 District Hospital, the report said, if the patient cannot be admitted to the district hospital, a senior employee of the hospital should contact a higher centre for referral. In this case, the patient was not looked at by a senior employee and was turned away, the report said, recommending action against several medical officers. Top World Health Organization official Maria Van Kerkhove clarified that her remarks that transmission of the new coronavirus from asymptomatic carriers was very rare, citing a misunderstanding. However, her words sparked a reaction from the scientific community. Some scientists say that while there remains an uncertainty, asymptomatic infection could be around 30-50% to 50 of the cases. Two firefighters have been killed as they tried to bring under control the fire that continues to erupt from the gas well of Oil India Limited in Tinsukia district of Assam. A team of state disaster response force and fire engines are present at the spot. A massive fire had engulfed a natural gas producing well of Oil India Limited in Tinsukia district that has been leaking gas for the last 14 days. Well killing experts flown in from Singapore will take around four weeks to totally cap the well, sources say.